everyone! I'm actually in Sapporo, Hokkaido right now. Finally, after I think three years of no travels because of the pandemic, we are finally traveling again and I can bring back the travel vlogs for you guys. So for today, you know, going up to the flight and everything, a, there was a lot of anxiety going on because, you know, what if I forget to bring these, bring that, do this, do that, you know, there's so many things going on and it's really, really hard to keep track. So I was a little bit anxious about flying. But um, thankfully, the check-in process, everything, the flight went pretty well. So that's a good thing. And then, so we reached uh, Shin Chitose Airport and then we took the train over to um, Sapporo. So we took the JR train over to Sapporo, booking to our hotel. So our hotel is here in Suzukino. So I think it's two stops away from the Sapporo station. And then it's located in the hustle and bustle of Sapporo. So from what I heard that this is where usually, you know, a lot of nightlife is happening. So yeah, it's pretty happening at night. So we checked in into our hotel called the Nord Sapporo. So I'll give you guys a room tour, definitely. Yeah. So here's the hotel room tour. So by the door, we have the walkway. As we enter, there's the bathroom here. So this is the bathroom door. Yep. So there's a bathtub there, sink as well as a toilet, which I believe is a bidet as well. Yep, and then we also have amenities like hair dryer, um, you know, body wash and shampoo, things like that. The only thing that is lacking is probably toothpaste and toothbrush, which you would expect to have in a hotel, but you know, not an issue, we can go and get our own. And then moving away from the um, bathroom, we will walk into the bed. So this is a queen size bed. Yep, and then there's some seating areas over there um, by the window. I don't think there's a view right now because it's honestly not very late at night. It's probably about 6 p.m. ish. But it gets dark really early here. Maybe because it's winter, so that's why. Yep, and then we have, you know, the water kettle, uh, safe box. Uh, I, I believe that's a... Uh, um, refrigerator? Yeah, a small refrigerator and then a huge TV here. Yep. And then back to the doorway, you know, we have the hanging racks for clothing. And then, of course, a huge ass mirror. Yep. And then, uh, apart from that, we checked into the hotel, left our belongings and our luggages here, and then off we headed for dinner. Because we had a red eye flag, so we didn't have a proper lunch. So every one of us was starving, so we had to, you know, immediately go look for some dinner place. And of course, what better way to start a Japan trip with some Ichiran ramen, right? So it's actually my second time having the Ichiran ramen, but my first time was not in Japan. It was actually in uh, Taiwan, Taipei. And then now it's my second time and it's, you know, in Japan where the land of ramen is. So it's actually my first time visiting Japan or any cities in Japan. So first time in Japan in general, first time in Sapporo in general and the weather is really cold right now. It's really windy as well. Heading up for dinner. We're starving because we haven't had lunch and we had a red eye flight. After about like a two minute walk from the hotel, of course we are here for Ichiran ramen. I'm not afraid of being pretty in Korean Asian. Mm. You eat the, the mushroom? No, no, we do. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Thank you. Yeah. And then after dinner, we walked around a few malls, visit a few secondhand stores.
And then what we did afterwards was we went to the arcade. So round one arcade, we had, you know, a walk around, we look at the claw machines and then played some um, initial D. to some muds, got some items and right now we are here back at the hotel yep got myself some different flavored um, crab stick crab meat or kani sticks whenever you want to call them as well as um, shampoo and conditioner because I didn't bring mine and also uh, a warm green tea chapsticks yep and a egg mayo sandwich as well as some, um, I don't know, chocolate snacks. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Um. Oh yeah. So earlier on during the room tour, I mentioned that there wasn't any toothbrush and toothpaste provided, but I was very wrong. So on the second floor, the which is the reception area of the hotel, they actually provide a uh, free toothbrush, toothpaste, um, cotton buds, cotton pads, razor, as well as um. Uh, buff salt they have two different flavors rose and yuzu so i got the rose one so so just remember that if you're in the area and you are looking to stay in a hotel you can consider the north sapporo so it's literally just two minutes walk from the susukino um, subway station and the room is actually pretty spacious considering that it's right you know in the city area where a lot of buildings are and i've heard a lot of friends say that hotels in japan tend to be a lot smaller in general and this is actually pretty spacious I think yeah and really love the interior design as well it's very simple yeah the only thing I have about the room is the lighting so it really brings out the brassiness of you know your hair if your hair is in brown or blonde yeah so that's it so I'm just gonna you know start washing up and then Prepare for tomorrow and go to bed because right now it's let me check the time. Right now it's uh 11 15 pm but it really feels like 2 a.m. because the sun sets here really really early. So at like 5 pm we were on the JR train on the way to Sapporo and it was just pitch black darkness already. Yeah, so I'll catch you again for day two. Bye!